Welcome back to Pokemon the Training Card Game 2, where we last left off, we just defeated the Fighting Gym, which allowed us to access the final island of GR Island, which means we're getting towards the end, question mark? All these places to go, but I want to know why Ishihara lives here. Do you want more trades? Hello. Haha, -ha, I see, clever. What? I'm learning some new strategies for Pokemon card duels. The books Mr. Ishiara has written are filled with great tips. You ought to give them a read. They really ramp up your game. I'll be the judge of that. Wait, is there more tutorial stuff here? Card pop. I, ugh. Yeah, I know. Team GR is infamous for their adoration of dark evolution cards. Uh-huh. Okay, what else we got? It's possible to use many Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon in one deck. To use them all, just four, use four EV and four Ditto. Wow. What amazing strats. The GR King is said to possess a special card. That card is none other than GR's Mewtwo card. It has the, it has the dark wave Pokemon power and dark amplification attack. It's unknown what it does. It must be a powerful card. That's cool. There are five special energy cards in addition to six basic types. Yeah, uh-huh. And you can collect up to 24 coins total. 24? Wait. Summon the game center. Oh no, 24. How many do I have? Eight. 13. Ah. I want more coins. I think I need to swap out the Oddish coin. It's time to move on. Let's use a, uh, let's use Magnemite. Well. Wasn't really planning on trying to complete this or anything like that, and I don't think I will. Uh, Jerd, it's Dr. Mason. How are your fights with Team GR? I'm going great, thank you much. Have some booster packs, thank you. Oh, another flight one. Ooh, maybe I should go back and get some flight booster packs. Grows Hitmonchan. Poke Flute. Choose one basic Pokemon card from your opponent's discard pile and put it onto the bench. I'll oh, force another basic out. Oh, a new Sand Slash with Sand Veil and Rolling Needle? What do you, what's Sand Veil? If heads, prevent all damage, okay. Rolling Needle is three coins, deals 40 damage plus tens for each heads, and then deals 10 damage to itself equal to the number of tails. And that's 70 hit points? Not even Dark Sand Slash, just regular Sand Slash? That's cool art though, like that's cool Sand Slash art. Uh, Dugong, Cubone, Ooh, this Magmar, Blazing Fire and Magma Punch? You may discard as many fire energy attacks if you want. Deals 10, plus 10 for each. Discarded? That's not worth it. Versus Magma Punch for 40. Subat! Magnet and Super Conductivity. Bellsprout! Ponyta! Dude, I, yeah, maybe we should go get more Flight Booster Packs, because it seems like that has the most, like, new cars that I haven't seen. Um, before I do Psychic, I kind of want to go to the Colorless Altar, because I don't know if that's actually, like, a... Ah, oh, Jesus. You've made it here quickly, Jared! It's me, Ronald! Good to see you again! Did you have some trouble in the GR Fighting Fortress Labyrinth? I got sick of waiting for you! Listen, I have new Team GR Intel! There's a man called the GR King in the GR Castle, just GR north of GR here! There's a GR Catch, though! You need two coins to meet him! These, those would be the GR Psychic Coin and the GR Colorless Coin! You should get them quickly and attack that castle! But seeing how slow you work, I bet I'll get there first! Well then, why am I even doing anything if you're just like, I got it! Alright, moving on. You know, with the music, this is the most cult-like place I've been so far. Um, hello. So you have come, Jerd. We three are the clerics. Avery, your attention, please. Huh? We three are the clerics who protect the colorless altar. If your goal is to enter GR Castle, you must fight all three of us. Only by attaining our approval will you earn the GR colorless coin. Um... <sighs> Yeah, good speech. We three each require specific cards to be in your deck when challenging. Oh. Okay, what do you need? 
Uh, create a deck containing four double colorless energy cards? I don't even own four. Right, I think I have one. Oh no, I have two. Okay, that's not as bad. There's two in this one. And like, that was it, right? Huh, I may actually need to go grind out for booster packs to get double colorless energy. I also don't remember, did you say what? Which uh, booster pack had the double colorless? Open your card album and try to find it among all the series. Make another of the booster pack series it's in. Wait, can I do that? Uh, view card catalog. Okay, there we go. Okay, double color, double colorless energy. That doesn't tell me anything. That was a thousand Pokemon cards. Um, meal box? Oh, Claire's deck. He like just left and immediately like emailed me and texted me just moments out the door. Dude, you gotta wait at least 24 hours. I'm pretty sure that's the rule. I've acquired some information about GR Psychic leader Claire. Oh, Psychic? Claire is a very wise opponent. She employs a very strange rule. Anytime a player's Pokemon is knocked out in a battle against her, the energy cards attached to it are returned to that player's hand? That means you'll have lots of energy for this fight. To counter this, she has plenty of energy removal and super energy removal cards inside her deck. And be careful of her dark Gengar's push aside attack. Ooh, that actually sounds like a good fight. Okay, what about Colorless Altar? Go, Jared, I've got some info about the Colorless Altar. You'll need to defeat the three clerics there, Seth, Allen, and Avery. Each spe specifies different cards to use in fights against them. Moreover, after a win or a loss, they may change the cards they require. It's quite troublesome. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, what about you? What do you need? Jigglypuff cards. Use them and I'll fight you. Four Jigglypuffs. Do I have four Jigglypuffs? Of whatever... I have one. One. Okay, you're in, yeah, I know you're from the jungle set, but that doesn't tell me like what weird ass booster pack you're from in this game. I might need to go back to the previous island and just fight people there to get stuff. You? Oh no, it's GR number two. You was me in disguise. I'm done being GR number two though. Would you like to fight me as Avery? I have a special requirement prevent me from losing, though. I want you to have four Meowths. Alright, I might actually have four Meowths. Oh, tons of Meowth! Oh, tons of Meowth! Alright, you want four Meowth? Let's go! Um, uh, Cat Bunch? No, that one sucks. Coin Hurl? No. Uh, Payday? Ah, uh, flip a coins draw a card? Or just bite and fury swipes. And they all have 50 hit points except this one. Well, this one's like the most reliable. Uh, I would need to remove some cards to use Meowth, though. I guess I could take out the Abracadabras. Oh, no, wait. Ooh, no, I should not use my Psychic Boys. Since Homeboy probably using a colorless deck. That said, I don't know if I just go full punchy on them because uh, they're colorless, which means I'll throw out a, a doe duo or something and I won't be able to punch them. I guess bug deck would be the easiest one just to swap out and get in there. Take out all the zappy boys. I haven't used my bug deck in a hot minute. I'm allowed this. Bring in the meowths. Yep. Uh, I can also take out one of the more dumb items there. Done. All right, done. So I still need to fight all three of them to get the coin, but I can at least get the colorless started. 
Okie dokie. Oh, this is six prize cards? Pika, Pika, uh, 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 fight! He demands it to be taken seriously. Meowth, there. Now he knows I'm telling the truth. Pincer, Beedrill, and a Professor Oak. I also got energy search. We'll lead off with that Pincer. Put Meowth down, and good. Come on, Magnemite! Yeah! Energy, good. All right, here you go, Pincer. Energy surge, grab another grass energy. And then it's just energy and Professor Oak, so. Oh, look, look at this Pidgey. Oh, I'm gonna see so many new cards. Gust and Quick Attack. Standard stuff. 50 hit points. Okay, that's a different Pidgey. We also got down here. Spiro, I knew it. Spiro, Spiro, Flying Pikachu. Well, at least we know how to kill Flying Pikachu. The potion energy? Ah, 10 damage. Dress up, Pinsir. Pinsir, show them that bug Pokemon are superior to flying Pokemon. Use Iron Grip! Yeah! And you're paralyzed! Brrr. Oh, Pidgeotto! You're no longer paralyzed. Oh, crap. This is gonna hurt, isn't it? Fly? It, flip a coin if heads prevent all damage done to Pidgeotto next turn. Oh. oh. I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh, no. I've never seen this Pidgeotto card. Was this a real card? Also has Twister. Unless this attack knocks out the Pokemon, flip a coin if heads, return all energy cards that can create your cards, attach that Pokemon to your opponent's hand. Unless it kills them. Okay, well, I can retreat Pinsir. Send in Meowth. Because losing Pinsir here is just not worth it. I can't do anything. He's flying. Uh-oh. <laughs> Is this gonna be harder than I thought? Maybe I should use my zappy deck if we can use all these birds. Ah. Uh, okay. I thought maybe it's gonna be like more colorless based and therefore all my ghost Pokemon wouldn't be able to do much, but uh. Maybe I can... Uh. What's my best bet? Best bet is what? I hope they're the fly to fail? Nyeh. Don't. It's like the Pidgeotto version of Rapidash. With agility. No. I can retreat Pinsir again. Send in Meow. Uh, let's just Professor Elk. Let's just look for a thing here. All right, there, yeah, there we go. Oh, gust of wind, perfect. All right, let's put a Caterpie on the bench. Uh, use a Bill, draw a couple more cards. A Kakuna and another double colorless energy. I don't have a Weedle though. I have not played any energy for the turn, which means I actually could have Pinsir guillotine and kill something. Honestly, any of them deserve to die. What's my plan after that, though? Like, after I do that... If I do that, Pinter's very dead. And I have Caterpie and Meowth, which is an awesome. Oh, 
Otherwise, it's what? Send in this Meowth to die while I... I don't know. Low on energy, too. Ah, uh, jeez. Alright, let's just, uh... Get a kill. Grab another grass energy out. Get another, get a kill. Maybe I can find, uh, like, Metapod or a Weedle for all these guys. And let's kill your Spearow that has energy on it. Guillotine! Ah, quick murder! Alright, something good. Meh. I knew it. A Tauros? Potion? No! Miss it! Oh, wait, if it's tails, he misses all together? <gasps> oh, I thought it would just means I couldn't hit it. Oh, that's actually worse than agility. Pinsir, you can murder it. No, you're not kind of. He's got 60 hit points. Never mind. Frick. Uh, grass energy for Caterpie. Uh, but Pinsir, mad deeps! Eat that! There. At least I got it in threat range? Caterpie can kill it? Recycle energy. Pidgeotti just fly. If Tails, this attack does nothing. I should have read the whole thing. Miss it! That's fine! Oh, wait, no, no, it's not. That means Caterpie can't hurt it. He's getting a lot of prizes. Uh, go Meow. Who cares? Metapod, damn it. Ah. Uh, man, I hate to lose out on Cocoon and Beedrill, but I don't have much of a choice right now. Grass Energy, Caterpie. Professor Oak! Help! Pokemon Trader, Bulbasaur, Scyther. And, uh, I already, like, threw away all of my energy. Well, get Scyther down. Bill? Butterfree? Okay. Just gotta find a Metapod. Because Whirlwind would be huge. So would Mega Drain. Bill? Best of Wind, Ivysaur. All right, put down Bulbasaur. We got Ivysaur ready. I already played energy for this turn, right? Yep. All right, okay. Okay. Moonstone? Search your deck for a colorless evolution card and put it into your hand. Th that's a cool card. Uh. Uh-oh. Don't do it. You didn't? Damn it! Hang in there, Meowth! Kind of afraid of the Pidgeot! Another grass energy. Uh, I shouldn't overcommit to Caterpie right now when I don't have a Metapod for the Butterfree. Wait, I have Pokemon Trainer. Of course I have Metapod. Bye, Meowth. Yeah, come here. There we go. Maybe I should start getting Scyther ready, though? I don't know. All right, Meowth, keep sucking it hard. <laughs> oh, wing attack. Meowth knocked out. Okay, ready? Go, Butterfree! Right, wait, one, I mean, Metapod. Let me look at this guy. Wing attack and hurricane. What's hurricane? Unless it knocks him out. Oh, okay, yeah, same thing. So this is a huge tempo play. So if it doesn't kill him, he loses all the energy attached to it. Oh no, the Pokemon itself, so it's everything. Still a tempo play. Bonkers, okay. Grass energy. And Butterfree, now it's your time to shine against all these birds. Uh, What do you got going on over here? Spearow's got triple energy. You got one lightning. You got nothing. Energy removal. Spearow's. 
whatever. Uh, Mega Drain! In for 40? Oh, another energy search, okay. Now he can only use mirror move if I hit him with mirror move or with energy or mega drain first. Another Bulbasaur, which mega drain can't outright kill right now. But Butterfree has a free retreat, so which means I can swap out Butterfree, send in someone else, deal some damage. I don't have good options for that right now though. Or I just gust of wind. Kill Pikachu. I like that more. Energy search. What's left of my deck? I have 15 cards. Four grass energy. Only four grass energy. God, that's, that's actually more scary. I only have four grass energy. Where will it be the most efficient? An Ivysaur with Vine Whip and Leech Life? That'll be four energy for 40 damage. Three energy on the Scyther would do 60, or th 30, unless I Sword Stance to 60. Yeah, maybe I just start getting Ivysaur ready. Oh, uh, you can use Scyther to Retreat Dance. All right, Gust of Wind, Pikachu. Wesh, hello, nerd, take this! Pikachu! Good job, Butterfree, and you healed. Another energy, good. Same thing, back. Another energy surge. Okay. So if you were to use Whirlwind, they would choose the swap out. But that would prevent Mirror Move from working on Spiro, and they would have to bring out Tauros, who only has one energy right now. Kicking and stamping. You need to deal 30 damage or 20 damage plus 10 to something on the bench, and I have to swap out. How many hit points does Tauros have? 70? Yeah, I like that the most. All right, well, Gust of Wind, get rid of Spiro, send out Tauros, because that I'm afraid of the mirror move. And we just mega drain the Tauros. Because that's 40 damage, Butterfree gets healed. You could energy up and kick back Butterfree, but sending either one of these other guys out is fine. Oh, nope, he healed. <gasps> oh, you're out of energy, you nerd. And I got Weedle. That's another Pokemon. Energy search. Grass energy. Grass energy. And now Ivysaur is online. More Mega Drain. I may actually be able to, rather than get all my prizes, what if I just kill your whole family? Because you only got like a couple of Pokemon left. Kakuna. Mega Drain? Dude, Butterfree's doing it! Got another Scyther. Okay, so I just gotta be careful about this stupid Spiro. Energy retrievals. Spiro use Peck. How's it work when their bench is empty? If they have any to switch. Because the mirror move would copy the heal effect, right? If this Pokemon is attacked, was attacked last turn, do the final result of that attack to the defending Pokemon. So that would heal him, right? Whirlwind! Just get him for 20? Defender! Mirror move for 20. Do I have to swap out? No, I don't. Okay. I mirror move for 40, but he's got defenders, so therefore it only deals 20. If he mirror moves back, I would only take 20, because that'd be the final result. More importantly, Butterfree would heal. Mega Drain! Uh, only 10? I mean, it's enough. 
It's enough. Defeat Spiro. Only 20 damage, you nerd. Butterfree, you're the best. You did it. This is why Butterfree is one of the best Pokemon. Oh, that was awesome. I didn't even need to get all my energy because you're dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look how sad you are. Pico pee. Oh, no, no, I've lost the match. How could I? This is not good. Maybe you'll give me the cards I need. Uh, computer search. Discard two other cards from your hand in order to search for your deck for any card and put it into your hand. That's pretty good. Almost star. Primate, Magmar, Ekans, Pokeball. Just, oh, another fossil, finally. Oddish. Buffer. More? And he's got a uh, another computer search, another lick tongue, Cedra, War Turtle, Pikachu, Pokeball. Not one of you. You've defeated me, so you've earned my approval. You need the other clerics' approvals to get our coin, though. Once you defeat the other clerics, come speak with me again. That's obnoxious. I'm gonna have to go booster hunting. Which it seems like the previous island and finding the uh, gym leaders is the way to do it because it, it kind of made it sound like that's what you should go do because they have all new boosters and crazy cool stuff. That, but that was a fun fight. I'm so glad that I had Butterfree and that Butterfree is the best Pokemon ever. And then just crush it. Whew. All right. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time. <laughs>